I guess you can call me Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> That's my fourth hammered right here in this one. There's one, two, three, four. seven great day eight back out here in the horde field we're gonna work this just a little bit then go through that gate to the big field over here where a lot of uh, coins have been found but maybe not as many out there today because it's been hit so much but we'll we'll sniff them out we'll see if we can get them but uh, hopefully we're gonna have some good finds and we'll show you what we get later on so until then let's go have some fun getting a pretty good signal here 22 26 jumping around Let's live dig this one. It's pretty deep, whatever it is. Let's uh, see if we can't get a good plug up here in this nice yard. It's showing to be pretty deep. So let's see what we got. Plug fell apart. Still down in the hole. Right down there. Alright, it's out. And it is going to be a coin. It is going to be a coin. Probably, most likely, it's going to be a let me get my other camera and we'll see what it is. Well, there's just no way of telling what it is. It's just too toasted. It's so thin. It's probably a KG-1. Could be a King William III. Could be a William and Mary. Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's keep well, going. Well, I'm back out here in the field. I started out the, the week last weekend. 
found a silver down there, some coppers down here. The rest of the squad is all down on another field. And uh, just got me a 18 signal. Just dug it out. And it looks like it's going to be a, uh oh, no copper. Maybe we can get some definition off of it. I don't know. Let me switch cameras and see what we can come up with on a close up. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot it with this camera. It's pretty toasty. Uh, looking at the thickness of it, it could be a King George the third uh, half penny, or it could be a KG two half penny. I just there's no way of telling. All right, still a good find. Let's keep going. Well, not but two foot away. I got this buckle from that uh, old copper. Still got the uh, tongue on it. It's got a little fancy on the on the end all right let's keep going we well, got a little signal here 11 looks like a little flat button we dig a lot of these shank is still on it uh, probably 1700s all right let's keep looking for that elusive gold coin or a big silver coin a little canal back here check that out Got one creek going underneath it. Another creek running into this creek. I'm headed over into this field. All right, let's do it. All right, I found one old coin, one modern coin over there. On this side of this field, came down over here, crossed a little bridge, got my first signal, and I think I have silver. An old silver in the hole. Check this out, can you see that? It is. It is old silver. Check that out, guys. Let me get my other camera and get a close-up. What I got, folks, is very old silver. Man, look at that. Look at the detail on it. I don't know how old it is. We're going to put it in a pocket, and we're going to keep on going if there's any more in this area. All right, let's keep going. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. Here's my hole for the first silver that I just dug, that big silver. And look, just two hand lengths apart. Look how small this is. This is smaller than a trime. Look at the imprint right there. Let me get my camera and show y'all the other one. That's the smallest hammer that I've ever had. Oh man, we may be onto something here. Let me get my other camera and we'll show it to you. There it is, folks. Maybe I put it on my pants. You might can see it just a little bit better. It is a small hammer. Here's my finger. Uh-oh. There's my fingernail compared to it. But, uh, can't get... There it is. There's a lot of detail on the back. I guess that's the back. There's the front. That is nice. All right, let's keep going. Maybe some more. Guys, creature digger done did it again. Done found another spill. Found my first coin here. My second coin was right there, and looky here, another hammered right there. Look at the look at the the coin, the the uh, imprint. Wow! Let me get my other camera. I'm gonna show you a close up on these. There it is, folks. There's the second one. I mean, actually, third one, second one of this size. Let's pop it. There it goes. Same coin. Let me get my water out and we'll spray it down and we'll look at it. Check out that. That is a beauty, isn't it, folks? It's my third hammer. One, two, and three. Two big ones at that. This one's different. Oh, this has got a king's head on it, Pete. It's got some dude's head on it. Check that out. This is different than the other one. Wow. Look at that. Awesome. See his head? Yep. Awesome. I'm curious on what these are. All right. Let's keep going, there may be more. 
I guess you can call me Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> this is my fourth hammered right here in this one. There's one, two, three, four. I'm inviting people to come in, and here's the fourth one right here. It's different than all the rest. Another hammered. Let me get my other camera, and uh, we'll clean it up and show it to you. Guys, this is my fourth hammered. Let's pluck it out of the coin ball. Tell you what, Pete, will you hold the camera? And uh, hold the camera right there and let me... Hold on, muddy. My hands are muddy. That's all right, go ahead and keep searching. I'll, uh, I'll get it. All right. Hang on, folks, let me get all my right. water. This is bigger than my other one, but smaller than my big ones. They are tarnished and they are dark. All right, let me put it on the coin here and maybe you can see a little bit better on the dirt. Doesn't have a lot of detail on this one. This is just unbelievable. Two days ago I dug three hammered. Yesterday I dug four hammered. Today I've dug four hammered coins. And I don't even know what these are. These are just beautiful. Man, just beautiful. Look at this backside. Look at this queen or whatever, whatever she is. Or he is. These are just beautiful coins. Not too much on those. I don't think anybody's going to hunt with me anymore. I've got uh, 13 hammered on this trip. That's unbelievable. That's just amazing. Look at the detail. I'm, I'm curious how old these are. Probably 1500s, I would think. 1600s. Could be older. I'm going for older, hopefully. All right, let's let's keep oh, on digging. Plug. Still in the hole. Still in the hole. I got a good signal here. I gave it to Pete. Let's see if it's gonna be a. Uh... There, it, there is. it is. No, it's a button. Is it? What is that? It was a good signal. Oh, it's, it's a, a it's a tomback. Yep. It's a tomback button. Yep. That's a nice button, though. Yes, it is. Thank you very Not much. Not a silver, but it's, it's a good one. Yep. Pete let me in on his territory when he found a hoard. Uh, well, actually, a coin spill. And uh, I found one coin in where he found two. And so I'm trying to return the favor to him. And uh, where I found these four, right over there, we're searching this area. And if I get a good target, I'm letting him have it. All right, let's keep looking. Well, I have done it again. Number five, hammered silver. Bringing up an 18 to 19, about 7 inches deep in this old thick muck, and there it is. Haven't even touched it yet, just uncovered it. Let me get my, my uh, other camera out, and we'll uh, clean it up for you. But until then, hey, I think it's time to bring out the holy water. Maybe you can see that. I can't see if you're seeing me. Not much definition on this one, but it's definitely hammered silver. Yeah, a little bit of writing over here on the side. This one's pretty worn. Let me get my other camera and we'll uh, get a close-up on it. All right, there it is. Hammered silver. Not much definition on this one. But number five for the day, number 14 for the trip. But look how thin it is. You can tell it's hammered. No telling how old that is. It's been working up. They found a bunch of uh, coppers right in here. If you count one two three four trees down that's where i found those uh, that hammered coin spill back there and we've just been working all the way up through here and and no i don't think anybody's been working this area right here so i came up this way and here we go all right can't believe it number five for the day 14 for the trip man i tell you what uh some people tell me i'm lucky i just think that i'm i'm blessed that's what i call it i'm just god's grace is on me this is my uh, 
uh, first trip over and uh, got another trip planned in February with Nugget Noggin and uh, Plugmaster Ford, Missouri Mike and Adventure 5280, Adventures in Dirt. We'll be digging, Digger Daddy and uh, maybe some more, I don't know, but looking forward to that trip as well. But all right, enough talking. Let's uh, shut this down. Let's get the swing. Well, just got a good uh, 24 signal and it's about oh, 10 inches, 8 inches deep. It's going to be another copper. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get any detail off of this. I'm going to have to let it dry up first. It's too wet out here. It feels maybe a King George III. I see some definition on it. I'm not sure what we what this might be. Let me see if I can clean it up a little bit and get my other camera and we'll show it to you. This ended up being a King George III. About from 1795 to 1816. And the date's right there on the bottom. I really don't know what date it is. Maybe 1807. I don't know. I'll have to clean it up a little bit more and see what it is. All right, let's keep going. Well, we're out here today. This is day 10 of our dig. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little barge on the canal going by right back there in those trees. See the blue? Wow. If I would have saw that, I would have filmed it. Going right down the canal. But we're out here with Jeremy, out here with Nugget Noggin, and Chris is out here with us this morning. We'll be working this little low-lying area where we found the hammered silvers, big silvers, tons of coppers. It's an old footpath that goes across here. And I just got my first signal. It's ringing up. It's a 21, 22 on the 8th, uh, well, not the 18th, but the, uh, the uh, Equinox 800. And I don't know what it is. It's a, it's not a modern copper. It's definitely an older copper. It has something on it. And I have to get Chris to look at it and see. But it's thin. All right, that's a good sign. We're on to something here. Let's keep going. Well, I showed this to Chris. He said it is a possible a Charles II farthing. Charles II farthing. Chris, what date would this be? Late, late 1600s. Late 1600s. Wow, late 1600s. Charles II farthing, possibly. All right, we're in a good zone. Let's keep going. Well, it is ice cold out here today and rainy. And uh, we've been working this field over here, and we came back, and I was working up back to the van. And I think I got another silver. There it is right there in the hole. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And I'm going to let Chris look at it. He's our resident expert. What is that? Roman silver! What? Roman silver number two! Oh, I did it again. Ten days of detecting, nine days of silver, seven, 18 silvers, 14 hammer, two Romans. Wow. Unbelievable, man. Yes. What do you think, Jeremy? <laughs> I don't even know what to oh, say. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm walking. There's the gate. I'm literally walking back up to the truck and uh, eat some supper and get, get my hands warm. Let me get my other camera, get a close-up, I'll show you this. Well, we don't, I'm not certain on the identification yet. It could be possibly copper, but it looks silver. It rings up kind of silver on the uh, Equinox. We'll have to positively identify it a little bit later on today. But this is a way to end out two Roman coins. I've had the, the trip of a lifetime out here I just can't believe that uh, I have found what I have found today, or this week. I only found three coins, a modern coin today. I found a, uh, what was that, a King Charles, or King, what was that? Far, Far, King Charles II, Farthing. Farthing, 1600s, and this. But this right here made the day. No, else, no one else is going to hunt with me anymore. So, all right, guys. Well, 10-day... Tenth day is in the books. We're gonna call it and go get warmed up and drink some hot tea. How about that? Y'all want some hot tea? Let's go get some hot tea. Well, what a way to end my trip here at Metal Detecting Holidays. Uh, if you ever get a chance to come to England, I highly recommend check out metaldetectingholidays.com. And Chris is a great host. He stays out here in the field with you. Breakfast is provided, lunch is provided. He brings it out to the field. And uh, he's an expert on all these things and finds. And uh, so when you find something, he's nearby. And uh, I just can't believe this. I just can't believe it. Uh, the lens has got water. It's raining right now. Sorry about that. 
but uh, it's been an unbelievable 10 days. We've been here 12. Uh, we leave to go home tomorrow, but this is our 10th day of digging. We missed one day because of the snow, but it's just been a great, great time out here at uh, Metal Detecting Holidays, and what a way. I was working these big oak trees right here and just working up the hedgerow and got right here. Now I'm going to work myself to the gate, see what we come. So number 10 is in the books. We're going to go get warmed up, drink some hot tea, so we'll see you next time around. Well, I'm back in my room from a day of detecting, and here are my finds for today. I actually spent the first half of the day uh, helping a, another lady on our trip and everything that we uh, helped her find treasures and different things like that. So only you got a really half a day in, but this is what I got on the half a day. I got the bees here. I got the buckle, a couple of a round ball and a fired round ball, musket ball. Got a nice tomback button. The lighting in here doesn't do real well, but that's really shiny like silver. And a couple of other dome button, flat button. Here's my coins. Here are my coins. It's a King George the Third. Either this is a King George uh, KG2 or it's, it could be a token. Then a modern day uh, coin from the 1970s. And then the finds of the day were five hammered coins. How about that? There is one from the uh, four, uh, 1200s or the 1500s. I'm not sure. I have to wait and see how much, what, what date that is. And then these four right here, these two were right beside each other. Uh, they're from the 1300s and 1400s and 1500s, different years. And then these two beauties, these coins are, are, are black. They look brown, but you can see the detail on that. This is an English coin here. Uh, medieval uh, period, uh, 1400s. And then we have this one here, which is a French coin, a Dutch, I'm sorry, it'd be Dutch. And this is also going from uh, the uh, 1400s or 1300s. I can't remember. He's sending me the information on these. I'll post it on the video here, what they, what they actually are. And hopefully uh, maybe a non-dug example. But these four um, hammered silvers were all right there like a coin spill. And... Uh, the mine lab is just killing it on this trip. I've got, I think, 15, 17 silver coins and 14 are hammered. And so it definitely finds the hammered coins. I'm real proud of the, the detector. And, uh, well, back at the house today, we had a half a day in. It's rainy and cold today, so we didn't get a whole lot. Uh, here's my finds for today. Uh, like I said, we didn't hunt. We hunted a lot, but didn't find a lot. But this is a... King Charles II farthing from the 1600s. This is just going to be a modern penny from the 1970s or so. But this is the find of the day for me. That is a Roman silver. Could be possibly silver. And um, there's the back of it. Uh-oh. And this is my second Roman on this trip. That's the goddess Minerva. Okay. And we haven't positively identified this one yet. But there it is. That's a Roman coin. Possibly 2nd or 3rd century. What we're thinking. Anyway, there are the finds on day 10. And um, But like I always say, the greatest treasure is not Roman coins. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. God bless.